Okay, it's me, MLB. This is chapter 68 of Touched. This one is titled, Baby, Baby. You are now 12 weeks pregnant and the morning sickness symptoms were easing, which was nice, but you still didn't have a bump, which you were most upset about. You really wanted to have a pregnancy belly to show off. Come on, baby girl. We're going to be late. I'll have to fly us there, Hawks called out cheekily as he waited for you to get ready for the 12-week ultrasound scan. He knew how much you detested flying and he was using it as a light threat to get you to hurry up. You had had a blood test the previous week and today you would find out how your little nugget, as Hawks called it, was going. You would also find out if you were expe expecting a little boy or a little girl, which you were pumped about. I'm looking forward to seeing our little nugget again, Hawks said happily as you appeared, ready to go. He reached a hand out to yours and interlaced his fingers with yours as he pulled you into him. I reckon it's going to be a little girl. I'd love a little daughter. Just one as pretty as her mum, he said with a smile as he squeezed you lightly and kissed you on the top of your head. I have a feeling it's going to be a boy, one that's just as gorgeous and sweet as his daddy, he replied with a cheeky grin, smiling up at him. Mmm, daddy's right, Hawks leered with a smirk. Whenever you call me daddy, it makes me want to do things, he said as he let go of your hand and grabbed a handful of your ass. Play your cards right and you might just get lucky, he replied with a smirk as he turned and walked away. He almost lost his cool. Damn, gone are the days where she was shy around me, he thought as he stepped in behind you and grabbed you by the hips, bending his head to the nape of your neck and biting into your soft skin. You squealed and giggled, pulling away from him and turning around to swiftly tap him on the nose. Now you stop that, you chided playfully. Behave yourself at the doctor's. Yes, ma'am, he replied with a grin as he took your hand again and kissed the back of it before you both left for the appointment. Once there, you hopped up onto the examination bed and lay down, lifting your top up for the doctor to apply the lubricant and start the scan. Okay, the doctor said as he moved the probe around to locate your little one. Here's your baby, he said happily as he looked at the ultrasound screen. Oh my gosh, it's an actual little baby now, you gasped with excitement when you saw the image on the screen. It's not a nugget anymore, Hawk said with a mixture of awe and disappointment. Okay, Mrs. Takami, see these? Your doctor asked, pointing to two small bones protruding from your baby's back. These are your little one's wings. Oh, wow, he said softly. And would you like to know what the gender is? The doctor asked with a smile. Yes, both you and Hawk said in unison. The doctor smiled and looked down at the blood results, then checked the image on the screen. It's a boy, he said. Yay, you gasped, clapping your hands happily. Oh, wow, a little me, Hawk said with a chuckle. Oh, no, he's going to be a terrible flirt, you said cheekily to Hawks. I'm an amazing flirt, Hawks replied pr proudly. I got you, didn't I? You just followed me around, then took me to your house, and I've never left, you said with a chuckle. Hawks shrugged. It's true, can't fight you there, he replied with a bright grin. The doc doctor chuckled softly. Now, Mrs. Takami, as I mentioned before, we're going to have to monitor you heavily because of these baby's wings. They're quite sharp and bony at this stage, but because Bub is still tiny, he has lots of room to move right now, so it's not an issue, he said with a reassuring smile. But as he grows, it's going to get cramped in there, so the risk of membrane rupture increases. Mem membrane rupture? You asked worriedly. Yes, there's a high chance the wings will rip the sack the baby is in, the doctor said bluntly. Your face went from a look of curiosity to a look of absolute horror and Hawks gave the doctor a deadpan look. The doctor, realising that he should have approached this topic a little more gently, scrambled for a reassuring line. Oh, but please don't stress. We're planning to book your caesarean for somewhere around the middle of January. You'll be fairly close to full term then, so we'll get him out before he can get out himself, the doctor said with a chuckle. You still looked horrified. Baby, Hawks said gently. My mum had no issues with me. I was a caesarean birth, but I didn't rip anything, he said with a smile as he took your hand and held it. Our little baby is going to be the same. He'll behave, I promise. Just like I'm always well behaved, he added with a cheeky grin. Yeah, right, you retorted. You're about as well behaved as an unsupervised child that's been given a box of paints and a paintbrush. Again, can't argue there, Hawks replied with a stupid grin. You cracked a smile and some of the tension in the room eased. After completing the scan, you and Hawks left and headed back home. I'm just worried about, you started to say. Hey, Hawks said softly, taking your chin in hand and turning your face up to his so that he could give you his full attention. I've told you not to worry. Everything's going to be fine. We have the finest obstetrician in town looking after you. If anything goes wrong, I'll have his head, he said with a smirk. Okay, he said with tears in eyes, trying to be brave. 
Oh, you're so beautiful, Hawks breathed as his golden eyes smouldered down into yours. He held, your cap he held you captivated for a few minutes before he bent his head down, kissing your lips lightly, before your tongues touched and the kiss deepened. After a few minutes of kissing, Hawks pulled back. I've got the rest of the day off, he said lowly with a smirk. I've been craving some attention, chicken. Care to join me for a bit of a bedroom romp? He said as he ran his thumb over your bottom lip, watching how your lip moved when he swiped it. You nodded softly, and his eyes shot back up and met yours. Really? He said excitedly. Well, let's go. After spending the afternoon in the sheets, you both fell asleep, with you backed up against Hawks, cuddled up under his wing. What time is it? You asked drowsily as you stirred from a deep, restful sleep. Uh, 5.30pm, Hawks replied through a yawn. Want to get takeaway for dinner? Yeah, you replied. I'm craving something salty. I've got something salty for you. Hawks leered as he nuzzled his head into the nape of your neck and peppered your skin with kisses. You're the worst, you replied with a chuckle as he swatted his head away. You tell me what you want and I'll get it, he said as he scooted back and rolled you onto your back, wriggling down the bed a little so he could place gentle kisses on your tummy. I can't wait to meet our little boy, he said lovingly. We should start thinking of names. It's got to be a really good name, you replied as you stared up at the ceiling and raked your fingers through Hawks' hair lovingly. He's going to be amazing. He'll make his own name awesome with his personality and charm, Hawks said as he sat up and smiled at you. I wonder what his quirk will be. Oh, hey, I didn't even think of that. This is the first time my quirk will be mixed with another quirk in, like, forever, you replied with wonder in your eyes. And there ends chapter 68. Stay tuned for chapter 69.